When thinking about what game we should cover first on our channel, My Singing Monsters came to mind immediately as it was the backbone of our old channel, Rock on Rift. But when a surprise update came to My Singing Monsters Dawn of Fire, completely revamping almost everything in the game, it was impossible to resist covering it with a fresh start. Dawn of Fire is a political game to My Singing Monsters that acts mostly as a lore analysis. It's had a bit of troubled history with many complaints over the years from fans about how the game takes too long, doesn't have enough content, and is constantly neglected by Big Blue Bubble, the developers of Dolphin MSM. And though it still has some issues, most of the largest problems with the game have been resolved in the latest update, version 2.0. My name is Peter. And my name is River. And today, we're going to give an in-depth analysis of the ups and downs of this prehistoric prequel. In Dawn of Fire, your objective is simply to fill out a list of all of the available monsters on each of the islands to complete the songs, just like in the original game. But in order to do this, you'll have to go through a list of steps. First is breeding. For example, you'll use single element monsters like Mammoth of Cold and Potbelly of Plant to get Furcorn of Cold and Plant. And then add Toejammer of Water to get Bogard of Plant, Cold and Water, and so on. Your monster can then be teleported to an available island. This can take from 5 minutes all the way up to 80 hours, but costs almost no coins. In fact, because of achievements, you could even gain diamonds. Once you've teleported your monster, it will grow up and learn a new song on any of the items shown on screen. Certain monsters can now even be sent to the Prism Gate, a rift in space and time, to get one of the new prismatic monsters. As of recording this video, the only monster that can be used in the Prism Gate is Furcorn. The prismatic monsters are only for looks, they don't have a new sound or new stats, they simply act as a counterpart to the and epics of MSM. When a monster is put into the prism gate, it has a certain varying chance of becoming any of the new monster types using prisms, which can be collected from the prism gate or the one one You can increase your likelihood of getting new prismatics, but by almost nothing. In fact, if you don't have a lot of prisms, you'll have even less of a chance of getting general prismatics, and prisms only up your chance of specific prismatics by 1%. But that's a minor issue. Another detail we should cover is how to get your monsters to the needed level. To do this, you'll need to feed them. You can either feed them their wands, or just give them whatever you have on hand at the moment. This is a new feature that is extremely helpful, though the wants are still useful, because if you feed a monster its want, you'll get more experience, and it'll reach its levels quicker. Food for your monsters can be obtained by a couple of different methods. The first option is to harvest food on your own island with factories and farms. For an example of a farm, the tree can grow apples, coconuts, lemons, etc. Then for an example of the factory, the masher can use apples to make applesauce. All of this is free too, though if you want the food without the hassle, you can also just buy it directly on the market from other players. Similarly, you can sell your own food on the market. Also, another little thing to note is that you can visit other people's islands that are selling food on the market from the market. And how you purchase market food is with coins, of course. Coins can be used in a variety of ways including buying sturdy monsters and purchasing factories and farms. An issue I have is that there is a free coins tab you can click on and it never seems to work. Hopefully they will fix this in a future update. Coins can be collected from monsters. Then we have diamonds, a very useful currency but not extremely common like coins. You can use diamonds to purchase speed ups for breeding and purchasing monsters from the outer islands and extra dice in the stargazer. Diamonds are produced by the diamond extractor. And now for the crystals. Crystals which can be collected around the continent can be polished and then upgraded into jewelry which can be used to upgrade your item bank. And let me say, there are always crystals in your in the upgraded forms on the market. Also, unlike other currencies, crystals can be used as a craftable item. Now, on the topic of items, all items are stored in the vault. The vault can be upgraded to have more storage, which costs coins, crystals, and jewelry. Items that you have put in the vault can be sold for around 33% of the lowest sellable market price. The maximum space for the vault, after every upgrade, is 310 which is a very generous amount of space, if I might add. 150 XP for the last upgrade. This will help you a bit in leveling up. Your level determines many things. The available monsters, the available decorations, the number of continent sections, etc. Player level is raised by experience, which can also be collected from buying farms and factories, collecting items, etc. It's also raised by daily goals, which are set every day, of course. Daily goals also help earn you diamonds. Now earlier you mentioned the continent sections, 
When the first three sections are unlocked, they bring a new structure with them. At level 0, we get the teleporter, which we've already discussed. At level 9, you'll unlock the Wondermine. With this device, you can journey beneath the continent in search of precious materials like mushrooms, springs, slime, and much more. At level 19, you'll unlock the Skyship. The Skyship allows you to give items in exchange for experience, coins, and if you give it all the items it requests, you may even get some diamonds. Let's go back a while. At the very beginning of the game, we unlock Stonehenge and the Stargazer, an entirely different type of island with an entirely new mechanic, dice. With the Stargazer, you roll three dice and you get prizes for what they land on, this being diamonds, coins, and most importantly, moving. And by landing on three of the same item, you'll double your reward. And by moving all the way to the end of the constellation, you will unlock a celestial monster. Depending on the month, you will receive a different monster representing an element. The Celestials have a huge part in the lore, but that's not for this video, maybe some other time. Now, Doff has so many great features, but it also has plenty of issues. One such issue that we noticed during the filming of this video is that it's just too easy to move monsters and objects, which leads to lots of game interrupting accidents, as seen here. And another issue is that I'm sure a few that you've noticed is that there are not enough beds for all the monsters, which is a big disappointment not being able to have everyone on the continent at once. All right, so how is the game of Willow? Well, it's a fun game that has a few minor issues and a lot of really cool gimmicks that keep you hooked to the game. Not to mention the lore that BBB has put into the game is extremely impressive for an app-based series of games. I give it an 8 out of 10 because the music is great, the monsters are charming and cute, and we can all agree that Stonehenge has some of the coolest music in the series. I agree. I love the whole My and Monsters series, and I'm so proud to see them thriving in such a typically low-brow market. I'd like to see Big Blue Bubble try their hand at a console or PC release. I think that with a little bit of help from the community, they could pull it off. The music is stunning, the graphics are so nice and bouncy, and the gameplay is doing absolutely splendid in version 2.0. I think that's it from us for now, and let us know in the comment section below if you'd like to see any other games reviewed. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more from us, and we hope to see you all in the next video. Hey everyone, uh, thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. Um, if you enjoyed, as I said, uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe um, if you want to see more from us, recommend video games that you'd like to see us play, because we have quite a few that we're going to be doing in the future. We're going to do Minecraft, we're going to do Breath of the Wild, that'll probably come out when uh, the, the Breath of the Wild 2 comes out on the Switch. Breath of the Wild 2. Um, and then we're going to be doing all sorts of stuff like Pewdie the PewDiePie games. Um, we're going to do Spore. Uh, we, we've, we've got so much planned. Um, but we, we want to hear from you guys. We want to know what you guys want to see. Because um, that's a big thing for us is to make sure that you guys are enjoying the content that we're making. Um, but anyways, we're trying really hard to uh, make this a really quality channel. We've been doing a lot of work on editing, mostly me. Uh, but I'm, Peter will start uh, soon, hopefully. Peter and I have been working on scripting these videos. We've been, um, which is something we didn't used to do. So now we're actually, you know, a little bit more professional. We're we're really trying to up our up our game here. Um, it, we want feedback from you guys, though. We want to know what you guys think we could do to improve our videos. All right. So again. Um, just one more time, make sure to like. It really helps us get out there. I know that it seems like liking is overrated and it doesn't actually help. It does. It helps It, it helps us get out in the mainstream. Um, you viewing this video, we really appreciate that. Um, and then s subscribe if you want to see more. And comment below if there's more you want to see. Anyways, I'll let you get on with your day. And we'll see you in the next video which you could help recommend okay goodbye get on with your day do something important today do something um extraordinary stop watching youtube okay actually it, um if you're gonna watch more youtube watch more of us
But get on with your day. Do something fun. Um, and we really hope that you, uh, that we'll see you in the next video. Um, I think that's it for us. Goodbye. Get on with your day.